Hey guys, welcome back to Trademark Corp Gaming, and we are going to be here for another episode of the Sword and Shield Let's Play. Of course, we're playing in Sword, and it is episode 15, and this week is going to be huge. So this week, of course, I had a hiatus last week, and the week prior, I had some issues with my laptop. I had some issues, just timing in general, but this week's going to be a big week. So yesterday, you got episode 14 on Monday. Today, Tuesday, you're going to get two episodes. You're going to get 15 and then 16. Tomorrow, 17, 18, 19, and Friday on 20. From there, no more nonsense going on. Whatever has to happen, I'm going to make sure that Pokemon gets out one every single day on the weekdays. And um, that's included with... I'm going to start doing some stream highlights and some stream archives from when me and other Saving Gaming affiliates, such as Saving Gaming Mike, um, do play on Twitch. So if you guys do want to see that live and interact with the community, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description. Um, but otherwise, let's get right into it. For today's episode, there is going to be a little bit of a change up. I do understand that, of course, there is a lot of value in seeing um, for each route, all the Pokemon that are on the route and, and kind of where to get them and things of that nature. But it does create a long episode of just cuts of me catching Pokemon and it also does kind of create this very long process for me where it might take me four hours to make something um, so I don't want that to affect either way negatively whether you guys kind of get bored watching just me catching a bunch of stuff or what have you so I'm going to make sure that of course if there's something that we need on a route I'm gonna get it I'm gonna catch it up we're gonna be good to go but I want to blast past through these because we still have three or three gems to go through the finale of the game the post game then we're gonna hop over to isle of armor and we need to do all of that in the next 21 days because on the 22nd that is when crown tundra drops and we are going to play straight into crown tundra so i need to get set up and there might be some weeks where i double post on a few days or what have you but we need to get set up for crown tundra because the day crown tundra drops I'm going to be set up for success and we're going to be getting out there. We might even be doing a special stream celebration on Twitch where I make some of my episodes live on Twitch for you guys, but we'll find out. We'll see how it all works out, but let's get into today's episode. So we just got done with Route 8. So now we are um, moving forward. Well, part of Route 8. Now we're, I guess, um, I guess we're on Route 7. Now we're moving up on Route 8. Um, so we are going to move past Snom and Sock, all of these guys. Let me make sure I am all... Alright, I actually guess this is the end of Route 8 as well. Yeah, exactly. See, I did have a, um, a faint last episode. So that would have been unfortunate to say the least. But let's go ahead and heal up our buddy. Um, no, I keep... There we go. This is what I want. Hyper Potion on buddy. Um, so our next battle, which is going to happen today, is going to be Gordy. So we are going to be taking on Gordy, um, and I'm going to be straight with you. Gordy's not going to be difficult. He's the rock-type gym leader. Um, it's going to be really easy for us to blast through him, essentially, just because we're super effective against him. Um, okay, nice. Off with the Intimidate. That's awesome. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and just go for a liquidation on Arcanine. Um, so, oh, he's going to hit me with the extreme speed. That literally, that tickled. Um, so we are going to take down Gordy today and do a little bit of the story that is involved in here. Um, but the, the other part of why I don't want to catch all these Pokemon right now is that it is creating kind of a over-leveling situation. Of course, with the game you're never really going to be kind of over leveled anyways just be, with the nature of pokemon I, I mean it is at the end of the day it is a game for children so to say um and you know it, it's it's going to be easy to get over leveled and it's going to be easy to beat the game um i'm interested in of course post game shiny hunting um and also trying to get into competitive again um i was into competitive for a while and all of that information for the most part is gone of course i know the the most basic information and uh, kind of the what's ran, um, and, and I keep up to date with that. But uh, I, I want to get back into it definitely. But um, yeah, so we're we're kind of over leveled, so that's another reason why we're not going to spend hours catching Pokemon because, of course, with the new mechanics, you do get XP on the catch. So 
We're gonna get into it though. That is Gordy's gym. Of course, he is the rock type gym leader. So we are going to go ahead and first go to the Pokemon Center. I wanna go ahead and heal up. And then we're gonna go straight to Gordy's gym. So we're starting off today's episode straight into the gym, making sure that everything is taken care of and making sure that we get it together. So like I said, we're gonna go straight into things. We are going to make sure these episodes are jam packed of just information, getting the gems done, and just getting through this game so that way we can get to, of course, the Isle of Armor. I still love the Isle of Armor. I think the Isle of Armor is a great DLC. Um, and then, of course, we're going to get into um, the Crown Tundra when that drops. Um, so, base game and post game, they're fun, but I, I definitely do prefer the DLC so far. Um, and to give you guys an information on how to catch all these mons, there will be kind of an update on that, and I'll show you what my new process will be. Those will be rolling out shortly, uh, but you'll see very soon. Um, so Hop is like, ah, oh, I lost it, all went to pot. Um, so he basically just got rocked um, by Gordy, apparently. So Gordy just absolutely decimated Hop, so he's going to be like, ah, oh, man, well, best of luck. Um, so he's going to figure out what he needs to put on his team. It's almost like there's all these Pokemon around that you could just go get or just go fish for a water Pokemon. But let's see what the ball guy has. Um, so the ball guy has a Moon Ball. Okay, I like Moon Balls. Moon Balls are cool. Um, <clears throat> also, if you guys ever need to move balls around, remember, if it's not a Cherish Ball or a Master Ball, you can move it around via breeding. Of course, if you, if you need more information on that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And um, if I get enough traction to it i'll make a video for it and enough traction is literally one person at this point i'll make a uh, a video for it um just so that way again i can help as many people as possible so let's go ahead and get into it um let's go forward with the rock type gym leader gordy so he's gonna open up of course um we have kind of a unique gym challenge um of going through and you have these trap detectors um now did i used to know exactly how to do this yes did i know that those were stone journer handles no that's kind of a cool little thing um but uh yeah so apparently it's it's done via vibration um so i at one point i remembered this um do i still remember this probably not see yeah so it's it's right i think it's right and it snakes around um, I want to say it's like here we go up I turn left I go up I fight them and then I go up and left I believe um, but they're gonna be like hey what are you doing in search Esther blah, blah blah so Abigail is going to be the first one fighting and she's gonna throw out a boulder good mon good mon uh, should have evolved into a gigalith but uh, uh yeah you're gonna get wrecked um, so yes yeah, so, so we're we're almost 10 levels above her, um, which means we're probably going to be like four levels above Gordy. So this is going to be a very easy run through, um, which again, these, I mean, the gyms are made to be hard, but if you actually pay, play the game and you're catching Pokemon, it's it's not. You, you walk right through everything. Um, and, and this is, again, this is mostly just my take on, of course, how I've played through the game, um, just solely based on more Pokemon I like and, and things of that nature. Oh, well, I was wrong. Um, unless it was, this is the one where you have to hang far left, I think. Yep, so hang far left and there's another, I'm really not paying attention to the, uh, oh, also on the pro controller, it doesn't vibrate. So that's something to take note of. Um, it says vibrations. Uh, it does not do that on the pro controller. But if you guys want to figure out how to do it, here's a little bit of a, a breakthrough. So yeah, you go up and then hang left, beautiful. Um, yeah, and then Gordy just talks to you, which is really odd. Um, I think this is up, do I turn? L yeah, I do turn left, but I have to hang it there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so um, I want you guys to drop down in the comments what your favorite Gen 8 shiny is so out of all of the pokemon added in gen 8 what your favorite shiny is um i'm definitely torn uh intellion shiny is okay it's interesting um I, I do like it it's just very uh vibrant and odd um with the hot pink and everything um i really like obstagoon's shiny um of course with the red and white squad um and then the cyan in there as well it looks absolutely gorgeous um as we take down this crustal with one hit like I said, dude, we're, we're going to walk through this gym. Um, 
the the shiny for Zacian, even though it's not out yet, the full cyan, it looks like um, Blue's Clues uh, it is pretty awesome as well. Um, so I like that one. And I also really like falling into holes. I really thought that I was supposed to go that way. Am I supposed to just walk up this way? I am supposed to just, no. Oh, I am. Okay. Hang a left there. Um, but I don't know, dude. There's so many good ones. Of course, Corviknight. Are you not just going to look at me, dude? Like, <laughs> okay. Um, Corviknight's a beautiful one, too. I really like him. Uh, Grim Snarl, of course, is also gorgeous. But um, just off the top of my head, I would say Obstagoon and Corviknight and Inteleon are my top three. If I had to pick one from them, probably just because it was my first shiny in the game of this gen, I would have to say Corviknight. Um, but there's a lot of cool ones out there. There's a lot of mons that are eh, that then get kind of cool with their shiny. But yeah, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite shiny of Gen 8 is. Uh, but now that we've taken down Gym Trainer Oliver, I want to say that it's not just a straightforward walk. Yep, so you have to go this way. Is it? Yep, it's a round up. I'm just gonna, just, yeah, okay, I was guessing there. There's probably gonna be like three holes right where I just walked around. So it's gonna be a bunch of boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so there was a couple of holes that I just walked around. I'm, I'm remembering it slowly but surely. And then this nonsense. So this is where having the vibration really helps. So I'm glad that, nice, just like that, awesome. Um, so I'm glad that there is kind of a, visual aspect of it um but again i have absolutely no vibration in the pro controller so i'm gonna just keep walking this way um i'm assuming there's a trainer up here oh okay there is a trainer <laughs> dude sometimes the trainers get me you'll be like right here and they're looking this way and they're like oh there's no one here oh like it's just what like i i don't get it i don't, I don't get the logic i feel like it should just be a area of effect like it's like you step into their area and it's like ah oh, there we go they look at you like it just i don't know it doesn't make sense to me also pseudo wudo pseudo is a great great one um for people that if they did not actually play gen 2 or they don't actually know about pseudo wudo of course it has sturdy um that they don't know it's rock type they're like oh yeah it's a tree with wood hammer that just wrecked my life um it's dead now though um but it is a faux tree, so it is it is fake, um, and it is a rock type Pokemon, which is interesting to say the least. Um, so we took on Windy, we beat Windy, so that's that was easy. Um, and I want to say that it's not just a cut and dry step forward. I want to say that there's another trainer that we have to go ahead and face. Nice, thank you, Nat. There was a Nat on my face, and it distracted me from going to the correct. All right, so I'm just being stupid, and you can just walk right up here, and I think the platform is... Okay, let's just... It's, yeah, it's screaming at me, don't go that way. Here we go, here's another platform, and yeah, of course, it would not just be a easy walk straight through. Dude, Gordy and Melanie, respectively, for Sword and Shield, they're ridiculous. Like, you think about it, like, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and make kids fall into a hole. And then right there, you have a sense of security. And then it's like, oh, no, there's a giant hole right there. But whatever. Um, before we walk up these stairs, something I do want to do real quick. So I want to give Buddy a Hyper Potion. Just so that he is fully healed up. So we can go in there and G-Max Waterfall the life out of people. Um, but let's go ahead and move into Gordy's Gym Battle. I like the the little wave that they always do, but I especially like the one with the trap because it's like, just stop, just don't, just just, just don't. Um, but yeah, so now we are at the gym challenge, and dude, I love the fact that there are people in the stands for these battles because before they always made the gym challenges such a big deal, and of course it was just kind of a random person walking into your gym and you fighting them, but now it's like it's this huge event. Um, so yeah, so he's basically like, let's, let's go ahead and fight. Let's get this over with challenger. I'm going to crush you. Uh, no, no Gordy. Uh, obviously you do not understand type advantage. Um, so he's going to throw out barbarical, which that was like, a 
what did I just witness right there? <laughs> that was such an interesting little uh, backflip, like throw between the legs kind of thing. Now, Barbarical is... Can I... He went for a Shell Smash. He went for a Shell Smash. That's unfortunate. Because now he's going to get a huge special in everything else. Let's go for a Sucker Punch again. Okay, so it does get off. And it does very minimal damage. Um, and he's going to use Razor Shell, which is, again, going to do... Wow, that did so much more than I thought it would. Um, snipe Shot? He's going to do Rock Tomb. That is going to kill me. Yeah, that... Okay, let's switch into Mike Volt. <laughs> let's just... Let's Thunderbolt him and get on with our day because hopefully I still outspeed him with Vikavolt. If not, I will be actually kind of surprised. Um, I do not, and he's going to Razor Shell, and that is going to hurt. Okay, we're going to get off the Thunderbolt. Um, it is going to hurt, but it... Oh, it is going to pick up the KO. Okay. Um, so I think now with Inteleon dead, which is very unfortunate. Um, so he's going to send out Shuckle. Let's go ahead and let's go Mushu. And let's go ahead and use a fire move on Shuckle. Because he's Rock and Bug. So let's go ahead and use the Sense Scorch Fire on him. Um, look at the little Shuckle, dude. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and use Flame Wheel. And let's hit him hard with that. And what I think I'm going to do is if this doesn't... Okay, so he's going to Rock Tomb me. Let's see how much Rock Tomb does. Okay, let's get another Flame Wheel off. Um, I say we do a couple of Flame Wheels, and then I'm going to end up probably sacking off Scorch and using a Max Revive on Inteleon, just so that way we can get um, Scorch back in, or Inteleon back in, rather. So let's go ahead and... We're not going to sack him off. We're going to... Let's use that Max Revive now assuming i do have one okay i do um so let's use the max revive on buddy let's get him up um and and back in the fight uh and he's gonna use rock tomb again i avoided the attack okay cool so that was just a that was a, a perfect setup essentially for me so let's go ahead and flame wheel and let's get the shuckle almost to death he's probably oh stone age um he's probably going to use some kind of potion i'm assuming gordy is going to oh no he's not okay he's going to save the potions i guess for the other mons um so we're going to take out the shuckle so we do get the ko on the shuckle um no surprise there it's just such an annoying mon to get through um because he does have uh the highest defense stat base defense stat in the game so it's kind of annoying to go through him yes his base defense stat is higher than defense form deoxys um it's kind of annoying but now he's going to stand out Stone Journer. It's going to be an easy blast through. Um, so with Stone Journer out on the field, we are going to easily get off a snipe shot. And it's going to decimate him. Um, if it doesn't... Realistically, I should have I should have G-Max there. Hopefully he has... No, he doesn't have Sturdy or anything like that. Um, if I G-Max there, then the rain would have been set up for next round. And then I would have been able to um, just absolutely nail this Colossal. Like Colossal is four times weak against Inteleon. So I don't think it's going to matter. So he's going to send out Colossal. I'm going to be faster than the Colossal. So I am going to get my G-Max off first. Um, and let's see. Yeah, so it's going to be special versus physical. Let's go ahead and go for the special of Snipe Shot. Um, so it, it's, it's going to be a very easy pick up um, for the win for Gordy. Like I said, it, it's, not, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Um... So Inteleon's going to pop out, and we are going to do our huge scream ah, 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 and all that nonsense. Now Gordy's going to show the giant mountain boulder, hey and <laughs> Gigantamax, which is, oh man, Gordy's hilarious, dude. Go just Gordy's whole ensemble that he has, it's just, it's, it's, it's funny. His little like backflip throw between the legs his little throw off and then his pose that he does with his g-max is it's 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 quite amusing to say the least um so colossal is level 42 so i mean we're gonna hit hard 
Uh, we're six levels above, which is right about where I thought we would be above. And yeah, we're going to pick up the one hit KO. It's going to start raining and that's it, <laughs> which I, I will say it is kind of um, amusing to see it rain as the gym leader is like, no, you beat me. And it's just downpour in the background. Um, it, it's 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 kind of quality. So as you can see here, oh, look, we got the 48. So now we're six above. We were only five above. See, I didn't over level. It's not my fault. But now Gordy is going to be like, oh, man, you've got to be kidding me. And he's going to smile. He's going to do the, like little look away. I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'd be like more falling from here. Yeah. <laughs> but it is raining in the background, so it's kind of funny. And then it clears up for the cutscene. Um, but now for Gordy, he's going to say that's impressive. Rules are rules. Here's the rock ba badge. He is kind of like not mean necessarily, but I, I don't know, dude. It's just, it's, eh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. But we did get the badge from Gordy, so we are up to six badges. So we need seven and eight. So we need seven, who is the mysterious gym leader that wasn't at the event, which if you've played the game, you know exactly who it is, and he actually is a big point in, in the, the post story. Um, and then, of course, Raihan, the eighth and final one, the Dragon Master, who actually does competitive battles. So his competitive battles are, like, essentially... Um, 2v2 it's vgc almost um i think the, the rules are definitely different but it's essentially vgc so you can kind of get into double battles and, and see how that works um so yeah we're going to celebrate the win we're going to go over to um <clears throat> the restaurant and we're going to get a little bit of the story done for today um so here's the restaurant dude that that graphic that graphic is hilarious to say the least um but yeah so i got it so he's like, oh, hey, there you are. And um, she's been trying to find out some stuff about the darkest day. And then for whatever reason, this random restaurant has a tapestry that was from the history of the Galar region. A huge national treasure is just sitting in this like KFC-esque restaurant. And nobody known about it for years. Nobody cared. Like Sonya's the first one to figure this out. Yeah, okay, dude. Um, so they start talking about the end of the legend, uh, their duty was complete, so on and so forth. The archway, the tombstones, the sword and the shield, a lot of stuff right there. So if you look at the tapestry, of course you see the, the guy that was depicted as a sword, the guy that was depicted as a shield, the archway that they're under right now, um, it looks like it's the end of the darkest day, blah, blah, blah. And then we're like, oh yeah, the, the, the Pokemon we, we ran into in the slumbering weld, that was like a, a mythical Pokemon. Maybe it's connected to this all. Yeah, Hop's genius, right? So then we talk about this all over a meal, and we start ordering, so on and so forth. We sit down, we talk it out, and that's it. I think it's literally just that simple. Um, so the next thing we can do is look around Sir Chester and in inspect the Hero's Bath. So the Hero's Bath is that giant, um, like... I don't even want to call it a hot tub, but like this, the, the natural springs, I guess, the, the heat springs. I'm not sure exactly what you would call this. Um, but essentially, we go to the hero's bath, and yet again, we talk to Sonya, and then guess what? You'll never believe what we do after that. So it says that the bath soothes the wounds that you um, take in battle, blah, blah, blah. This is where the mysterious, um, so you two met it back in the slumbering welds. Maybe we're going to become the next two heroes who knows it's a pokemon game um and then hops like man I, I guess i'd fancy a shield if i had to take my pick and then i'd be left with the sword i mean it's kind of the, the game i bought but hey whatever um but uh guess what he's like yeah let's fight i'm like what? Damn, why dude why um and he has a really bad beware pun in there he's like beware um but like the pokemon um so it's going to be an exhibition match and um i can tell you if you ever played Pokemon, you know that the uh, the rival never wins. Even when he has five Pokemon, he never wins because he has a dub wool. <laughs> I mean, that's a huge factor. He has a stinking dub wool. Um, so he's counting on his dub wool that is eight levels underneath me. He's not even the same level as the gym leader or a higher level. Uh, maybe some of his other mons are. But we're pretty much just going to snipe shot our way through this entire battle. Um, he might, yeah, so... <laughs> I was going to say he might survive it, but then he... Oh, is he surviving on... Okay, 
So he might have survived that, but then he did a takedown, and then he got hit by a hail. So that was just an easy turn one KO from uh, for the uh, the old dub wool. And uh, Joan and Grimstarnel did get a update though. So Pink Urchin is going to be the next one out. Let's just keep it going. Pink Urchin is going to be a I want to say he's water electric possibly. Uh, I know he's at least electric. He might be a pure electric type. I don't actually remember, but I will say I love these little guys. Pin Kirchin, Corsola, <clears throat> now um, Galarian, Corsola, Pukamuku. Like these little like sea anemones are adorable, and I, I love I love the Pokemon that are like that. They're they're just cute little, not throwaway necessarily, but kind of like a what are you thinking here, game freak kind of thing. Um, so now we're gonna throw out Cinderace. So his Cinderace is going to get decimated. Like I, I mean, I just. Like I said, we're going to snipe shot our way through this entire match because the rival is never hard, ever. If you just play the game, the rival is never hard. He picks something that you're super effective against. He just isn't set up for success in any way, shape, or form. So Cinderace is going to go down. He's also going to talk about having type effectiveness, um, and he's going to talk about that. 15 episodes into the playthrough so that's uh that's quite some hours of playtime and he's like dude you know type effectiveness and i'm like e yeah yeah dude i do um so we're gonna get rid of bite actually we're gonna get rid of bite we're gonna um get the level up to crunch just because the 20 percent damage is going to affect it more than the possibility for a flinch especially when you g max sent a scorch if you do need to hit off of a dark move um so now he's going to send out the snorlax um, so this is the only guy that might give me an issue. I say might just because I am like 10 levels above him. I'm nine, whatever. All right. So it is going to take about half health. He's going to hit me with a body slam, which is going to do some hefty damage. And of course he gets off the paralyzation because why wouldn't he get off the paralyzation? Um, so we do have paralysis now. Um, let's get the liquidation off. Hopefully it's not a full paralysis. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. We can get the hit off. So with liquidation hitting off, Snorlax is going to go down. Um, so we might've been better off using Snipeshot. Who knows? Uh, but we took him down nonetheless. And then I'm going to get hit by hail and he has one Pokemon left. It is going to be Corviknight. Um, you think you've got me cornered? Not even close. Dude, I'm 6 owing you right now. Like, you might end up taking down Inteleon if I can't get off this hit, but I have 6 owed you, my guy. Um, so let's go ahead and let's just get off the liquidation. I don't think Corviknight has good physical defense. Um, he's gonna hit the pluck. Alright, he's gonna get killed. That's slightly annoying. Um, so he's gonna be steel flying, so Vikavolt is literally going to decimate his life. Um, so he's gonna 5 0 me because I didn't switch out to Vikavolt because I wanted to see if I could just 6 0 him with the uh, good old Inteleon. But let's go ahead and let's hit off the Thunderbolt into the Corviknight. He's gonna hit off with Scary Face. That's that's nothing. Scary Face is literally ridiculous. Um, but we're gonna hit off with the Thunderbolt, and Thunderbolt's gonna hit in and do all of the damage. So it is going to uh, pick up the KO on Corviknight. And we are set up for success. He's going to get the level up there. Beautiful. Um, perfect. So we took down Hop. Was there any doubt that we would? Absolutely not. Because, again, it's Hop. It's the rival. The rival never wins. Um, so we're at the Hero's Bath. She goes, thanks. You guys gave me a right proper battle. At the right, you're both going. Even the unbeatable Leon may be, might be in trouble. Um, so what's the next plan for you two? Uh, so he's going to go challenge Gordy, and then we're going to take Route 9 down to the next gym. Um, so we are going to go to the seventh gym, and he's like, man, you know, you two are great rivals, or maybe you're a great rival. I don't know. I don't actually pay attention to Sonya anymore. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead, and just because I want to make sure, actually, before I go there, let's just see. Okay, yeah, my mons are still dead. Um, let's go down to the Pokemon Center. Beautiful. <laughs> That I feel so bad for that colossal. Like I, I bet that lady's warm, but it's like you're literally using your Pokemon as a heat source at that point. Which I mean, I guess if you have to, you have to. But geez, um, so we are going to, of course, heal them up, and then what we're gonna do now is we're going to. Yes, I get it. Wedgehurst Station has special mons. I don't care. Um, but let's go ahead and go over to the right side, and let's make our way. That was a beautiful biking 
um, interaction there. But this is going to lead straight into Route 9. And this is actually where we're going to end off today's episode. Um, so I wanted to get through the story. I wanted to get through the Gordy battle, everything like that. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to move straight into getting everything set up for the seventh battle. So if everything goes to plan, you're going to get two gym battles in one day. Because remember, you're getting episode 15 today. You're also getting episode 16. And then the rest of the week schedule is 17 tomorrow, 18, 19 Thursday, and then 20 on Friday. So that way it's going to be five episodes every single week and we're going to be up to date. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to kick off the episode here um, or end it really. Um, kick it out. Kick it on, I guess. Kick kick off a start kick on to start i don't know dude uh, but we're gonna end it here so if this is something that you want to keep following you kind of want to see how i play through the game what my team is looking like um then definitely go ahead and subscribe leave a like it does help out the channel um make sure to answer all the questions of the day down in the comments below but uh thank you guys for stopping by thank you guys for being a part of the corporation and i'll see you guys in the next one